Hi, so showing you how to uh, modify this quick jack. And this quick jack is really great for, uh, for lifting the car. You, know, you don't have to uh, spend all your effort lifting the car. But one problem is that uh, when you have a cement floor like this, it's hard to move it underneath the car. In our old house, when we had epoxy ground, it's actually very easy to move it. But here with regular cement, it's just hard. So uh, I've seen a very solution on the, on the internet and uh, trying to combine all the solution together. I like the solution of the zip tie because it's quick. And I've seen a solution of uh, one of these, uh, they call it transfer balls. And uh, I thought those were really good too. So I like to combine the two together. Um, there is some solution that requires you to drill holes on this plate. And even though this is not a structural component, I'd rather not drill any, any jack. That's, uh, that's gonna be a, a safety consideration. So, so what I did is I bought uh, eight of these from Amazon. They're about $15 for eight of them. And here's where I put them um, in the back. I can only put it in front of this plate because otherwise you cannot zip tie it. So that's the closest I can to, uh, to putting the, uh, the transfer roller. Um, and uh, this is the plate that I really don't want to drill. And now let's take a look at the front. So the front, I put it as far back as I can. And the reason for that is that, so that the, the holes can still move around any which way. And there's a second reason I put it uh, as far back as I can uh, within reason, is that um, when you're when you're lifting, when, when the jack is dropping, the weight of this through the leverage of this arm will actually lift the base plate up and off the ground. So you don't need to have any, any other magnets or anything to lift the base plate off. So where the ball bearing is, forms a pivot, and the weight has a mechanical advantage that push down here and actually lift up this part. So let's, let's show how it works. So here I am lifting it off the ground. You can see that as soon as you lift it, the, the ball is off the ground, so that's not part of the low path. And when you're coming down, uh, let's see. Okay, kind of a cold, cold day today, so. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> it's starting to come down. You can see, you can see the, the bearing first contacts the ground. As soon as it contacts the ground, that forms a pivot. And the weight of this through the leverage is lifting the base plate off the ground. So you can see the, the plate is completely off the ground. And then, and then you can move it pretty easily. So that's the mod, uh, fifteen dollars for this, and uh, and some zip tie, and uh, makes this uh, makes the quick jack much more functional. Thank you. So when I tried to tie the zip tie around the bearing, this is what happened: it broke. So uh, looking at this thing, I realized that the uh, the edge, the corner edge of the uh, of the bearing is actually quite sharp. So so what I did is I just took a Dremel uh, and uh, and and just knock off the, uh, the, the the sharp edge of the bearing and then it should be fine i purposely left these uh, zip tie still long here so that uh, after a couple of use what happens to zip tie is that they will get loose over time so uh, and when that happens you just take a plier and uh, you hope pull, pull on it and tighten it a little bit more and then you probably have to do this uh one or two more times uh, and then they'll finally take a set and they'll be tight.